Đây ạ, con chéo, con chéo. So cool. Absolutely nailed this little perch. Look at this beast. <laughs> Welcome guys to a new video. This is a short segment of one of our latest expeditions to the Dalsant and Vermland area. In this video we're gonna use the Mega Live. More info on the full film at the end of the video. Enjoy! So, it's super super hot. The wind is completely gone. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and catch some fish casting using the Mega Live and we're gonna use the forward mode. And we're gonna use a variety of baits. We're gonna use small baits if we see something that resembles a perch. And if it's bigger than that, we're gonna go for big soft baits and try to catch fish, even you know, pelagic or standing against the drop off. And we're gonna use the Mega Life combined with a hummingbird Solix and a hummingbird Apex, a 12 inch and a 13 inch to be exact. So, what I'm doing now is I'm driving around the boat on my old tracks, driving close to the shoreline, but not too close because I wanna aim the Mega Life sideways and think of it like a flashlight, actually trying to light up the dark and once you see a fish it will pop up in that bundle of the, uh, the flashlight. Uh, it's now 7.2 meters, I'm gonna steer a bit away from the top off so I'm at like 10-12 meters and I can look towards the drop off and see if we can spot some fish. In addition to that I'm also using my side imaging and my 2D sonar, uh, mostly my side imaging. If I see a big signal pop up on the other side of the boat where I don't have my Mega Life aimed at at the moment. I can quickly turn it around, start looking for that fish, spot lock the boat, or with these, there's hardly any wind today, so I could just pause the boat, let it drift out, and try and find that fish with the Mega Life. Also, a good tool is the Auto Chart Life on these Hummingbird units that allows me to create my own map, and thus gives me a more exact picture of what's going on underneath the water in terms of, you know, drop-offs, uh, shallow areas, etc. So now we're gonna try and find the fish. If we find one, we're gonna pause the boat and then we're gonna try and cast over the fish and retrieve it towards the boat and keep the fish between the boat and the bait. And hopefully we can trigger it to strike. There's like a, uh, we call it a Christmas tree. There's a pine tree. So what you can see now on the Mega Life, it's actually the tree and some small fish behind it as well. I think it's perch over there. Um, over there we spotted a pike, which is uh, behind the, uh, the, the tree, probably stalking the perch, so let's see if we can get it. Sean saw a fish behind the tree. I uh, casted a little soft bait and it went straight for it. So cool, small but equally beautiful. It didn't take long for us to spot the next pike, but we also got treated with a nice rainstorm to cool down a bit. Luckily, the pike was more than willing to come out and play. After we obtained a little bit more protection against the elements, it is Franz's turn to catch a fish on the Mega Life. We take turns also when we fish pelagically. This keeps it a bit more interesting for both anglers. And yeah, fishing is a team effort, so it makes sense to split the rewards. Yo! <laughs> One after another. 
This forward mode with the Mega Life is really cool. now using the forward mode what I'm doing now is I'm driving the boat using my old tracks which is scouting and I'm scouting using my mega life and I'm just twisting and turning it on forward mode just scanning around and once we see a good signal well we each take turns and then you try to cast in the beam so I have it on uh, on 18 meters up ahead uh, yeah and if the fish is at like 10 and we try to cast like 14 or 16 something like that keep the fish between the bait and the boat or you know cast the bait over the fish so you can move it towards the boat and then you will be in the direct path of where the fish is the fun thing is is that they are really really nailing it so like in the Netherlands you have to be really precise but at the moment when the bait hits the water you can see them turning straight away and you just do a steady retrieve no fancy stuff with stop and go and things like that just a steady retrieve and they come and nail it quite hard and um, it's super fun and i think we're gonna try to do this on a couple yeah, more spots yeah let, let's try forward mode and i was like hmm, okay well let's see it is so much fun After a short but warm night, we start the day off with a successful trolling session, which we will definitely showcase in the upcoming film. We decide to spend the afternoon using the Mega Live again to see if we can find some pike on which we can cast with deadly precision. So cool, absolutely nailed this little perch.
there it is. You see that? It's really, really close. It is really, really close. Oh, damn. Not as big as France's fish, but still, it's a good one. She's gonna wiggle and then I'll drop her, so then she's gone. The small ones are the scariest ones. This one, especially. Ah, yes. Nice. Another cool fish on the perch set. Okay. That's France's turn again. Nice. Two fish in two minutes. That's oh, so cool. It's so, uh, it's such an exciting little game. Just to cast in that direction. And now with the wind blowing and stuff, my cast was a bit off, so I couldn't really see my jig landing, or I couldn't really see my uh, my bait landing in the water. But uh, yeah, I saw the fish moving and then I knew it. Just brace yourself, keep doing that steady retrieve. And bam, second fish on the perch set. I'm not really a strong believer of match the hatch, but I thought it would be a cool idea to uh, fish a uh, familiar pot, perch pot with a perch imitation bag. So I can't resist it. Mega life on the screen. So quick. Rawr. So feisty. <laughs> wow. This is so much fun. It's perfect. Stolen Bleak. Really cool name for a really good color. I think it's the uh, fifth take we had now. Casting with the Mega Life. Nice. Oh. Perfect release. I'm not gonna risk cutting on my hands on a little jack like that, but. Yes. Well, yours was like worth scratching your hands. Like a good solid meter plus bike, but um, yeah. the setup that we are running, I think uh, the, the the thickness of your braid and stuff doesn't really matter. Just use your ordinary pike tackle. Uh, but you don't want to fish too heavy because you want to control the depth a bit. And um, if you are going to use like a 30 gram sinker or something, it's just going to drop off way too fast. Now, by all means, I'm not a super experienced angler with pelagic casting like this, but there is some common sense with I'm using a 10 gram at the moment. You could go lighter, but when you use a soft bait that has a fairly heavy body or fairly wide body, you want to find a good balance between obtaining the, the right speed, getting some depth, but also having enough uh, hang time as well when you slow it down. When you go too heavy, drops down too fast. When you go too heavy, you need to obtain really, really high speed. But if you go too light, you can't really get close to the fish on deep water. So, so far, 10 gram has been working really well on depths like four or five meters. Uh, but I think it will work probably quite well too, towards seven or eight meters. Otherwise than that, you might want to go a bit, a bit heavier, but so far, this is working pretty awesome. Stay tuned for the sequel of the Dalsand Canal Expedition, which we expect to drop at the end of August. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Metal tails, she was so strong, amazingly strong, and these big black eyes.
Look at this stunning blackfish. I don't know. I don't know if I need to feel happy or sad. Well, yeah, 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 fish, 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 fish. This one, this Take one. It. Oh, he's just bent. Oh, which is wow. complete fucking bullshit. Thank you.